Hey guys, welcome back to Hair Transplant Reality. Today I'm showing you my three month update, but I'm filming from the future. I'm at five months right now. I'm not gonna show you my hair. I'm not gonna show you my donor. So in a second, you're gonna see the clips from three months, but I wanted to update you on what's going on. Just had a baby and I'm gonna be posting my three month, four month and five month in the next couple weeks here. So you'll have all of those very quickly. And then the six month will be on time. Okay guys, so you will see the six month basically at the exact time that it happens. And I have a second channel you need to go subscribe to. It's called Best Hair Transplant Results in Turkey. And I'm showing four other people's results from the same clinic, Cosmetica, that I went to. I have been following their journeys on the exact days with photos and videos, doing Zoom calls, and I think you're gonna love to see the results. I wanted to show more than just my own because I've been very outspoken about people going to Turkey. So after a lot of research for four years and now going myself, and having a few of my fans come with me, I'll be able to show you the real reality of what it's like to go to a good doctor in Turkey and show the results from different patients with different plans, okay? So, hopefully it's exciting for you. Go check that out, make sure to subscribe, and let's get to the three month update. What's going on guys? Welcome back to Hair Transplant Reality. We are here for our three month update of my hair transplant that I got in Turkey with Dr. Akar from Cosmetica. Now, if you guys haven't been paying attention to my journey, now is the time to start because the next 12 months will be very exciting. You're gonna be able to see a guy who was a huge Norwood 6 hair loss victim go to a full head of hair, ideally. So where we're at right now, I'll show you in a second and I'll go over how the donor's healing, what to expect from the donor and the crown in the coming months. And I'll also go over what I will be doing in the future as far as routines. And also, I will talk about what I've done already as far as the number of grafts. So I'll start with that first. I am now at 11,500 grafts. My last surgery was the biggest I've had by far, 3,900 grafts. Now, 3,500 came from my donor on my head, which I'll show you in a second. And also, 200 came from my chest and 200 from my neck. So I'll show you that right now. For the neck, it's healed up very nicely. It's only been three months and it's already unnoticeable. In the coming six months, any little pink dots that do exist will go away entirely and it'll be completely unnoticeable. As far as the chest goes, I can show you now. Basically, light pink marks, but not very noticeable. It is, of course, more noticeable than the neck. The chest is not as good at healing, guys. Now, my plan, of course, was to use more chest hair and basically get it all removed. And then I would go ahead and have a chest tattoo done, okay? That's my plan. Um, I'll probably laser it off now, but that's a good plan, I think. We won't see any of the actual scars then. As far as the donor for the head, let's get into it. You can see, it looks really healthy, considering 11,500 grafts are taken and 3,500 were taken literally just three months ago. This is insane. Considering just three months ago, I had 3,500 holes in the back of my head. I have had a lot of shedding guys, both from the donor and from the implanted sites in the top. I'll throw on screen a picture of where the implants were done, but it was the crown and also the weak points through the mid-ground of the hair because I did have some weak points after going to Dr. Panin. Now, don't take that as a bad thing. He did a phenomenal job on my first surgeries. I went from being a Norwood 6 to having a pretty amazing head of hair. Uh, it just wasn't perfect. So now, since I only could do one last surgery, I wanted to go big and get it perfected. I trusted Dr. Akar for this, as he is a specialist with hairlines and just perfecting transplants. Now, I have been very outspoken about Turkish transplants in the past. So in order to go ahead and show my belief in this doctor, I did my hair transplant there and I brought three fans with to get a hair transplant and recorded their journeys. So in the coming weeks, I will be sharing those fans videos of their three month updates and then they'll be doing six, nine and 12 month updates with me too. So it won't just be my hair you get to see, you'll be able to see everyone's hair that's being done. And if you decide to go to Cosmetica or anywhere in Turkey and you wanna share your journey with us, I would love to record it and post it because I think it's very important considering how many fake reviews there are and how much cherry picking there is to show the real results of the doctors in Turkey doing 20,000 transplants a year, okay? So that being said, I'm pretty excited. The top here 
hasn't had a lot grow in, but a little bit starting to poke through. I can feel the bristles, especially in this area here in the front. But that is very common, guys, especially with a transplant for the crown. You have to expect 18 to 24 months for a full reveal of the final results. Now, I'm hoping it's been pushed forward on the timeline because I did PRP and stem cell at the time of surgery. So that could very well be why I'm feeling bristles across my head. And that would be very exciting. But either way, make sure you subscribe. Stay tuned for the next video. And of course, I'll see you guys later. Peace. Anyone who stayed longer, here's a little sneak peek, extra footage of me showing my head off at different angles in a very bright light. And guys, I'm going to do a little goofy video next week showing my baby's hair and mine compared. So stay tuned for that. I'll see you guys soon.